Hello friends, I'm Larry with Rides Done Right. We're at the 2019 Salem Roadster Show. With me is Lonnie Thompson. Lonnie, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Lonnie has Carolina Customs, and Carolina Customs has done a lot of great stuff. We've seen him over the years do stuff. People sometimes get confused and think that Lonnie only does trucks. Lonnie does trucks, has a long history with trucks and cars, and this year really made a big splash in the whole community when he took this thing to SEMA. Uh, we're going to talk about that in a second, but Lonnie, let's start with the specs on the truck. What year it was, and what's the thing set up? What, what's the accessories on it? Okay, so the, the truck is a 1940 Ford pickup. Uh, it was a uh, swap meet find um, down at the Portland swap meet. We pulled it in. We had the frame built from uh, Schroeder Speed and Custom, uh, trying to figure out some designs of what we can do to change everything. Uh, air ride suspension, Air, um, custom built the tank, fire compressors. We wanted to do something a little bit different for the wife and stuff like that, so we stole the window out of a 51, 52 um, F1 and molded it and grafted it in to the uh, 40 Ford. Did an LS3 supercharge from uh, a buddy of mine, Casey Wagner, back east. Got a uh, 935 horse supercharged with the 2.9 Whipple supercharger. Uh, buddies over, over an A1. Uh, torque converters built the transmission for us um, to hold the 935 horse. I mean, so the the little changes that we've done on the car is just, I mean, it's just radical. I mean, you have to notice it. Custom grill, custom emblems cut in the hood. You know, so there, there's, there's just so much there that we would need a, a week or so to figure out to go through you with every detail of what was done, you know, and people are like, what did you do? Here's this, and it's kind of hard to remember until you physically go over the truck and go, this is what we did, because, I mean, we built this truck in eight months. So, you know, you got 12 guys plus the owner on it, working nonstop till midnight, you know, and I mean, it came down to the wire um, in the end, and we just squeezed through, you know, the truck's name, 40 Shades of Grey, is that a name that, how, how did that name come about? Was there any hidden meaning to that? So, I don't know about that. I mean, the, the owners gave me an idea. I called up a buddy of mine, told us the color, kind of what they wanted to do with the truck. Um, we're going gray here, gray here, gray here. I know a lot of it's got to do with, you know, we're adding so much gray in here. We got a bunch of different Porsches grays, a different Audi grays. I mean, so all this stuff goes back into the back into the 50s, you know, and and stuff like that. When the Porsches, I mean, the Porsche base colors uh, and the interiors based off of a 1950s Porsche Carrera. So, you know, the one of the things. I mean, this truck. When you walk around it, you see all these amazing features in it. One of the things that, when you just look at the front, I like that you have the the short like bumperettes in it. I like how you did that. Loved how you guys did the grill, and that looks like it's all milled in one piece. I mean, you figured out how to do like a honeycomb grill. Uh, what? Tell me a little bit about that and what how that worked. Okay, so we had some issues in the beginning. Owner designed a grill. We mocked up a grill. We sent it out to a company, um, they were supposed to come through, a bunch of stuff happened. Um, we had this, I owner had this idea, this is what we're doing. Sent the, sent the grill out, mocked up one for him, sent the grill out, right, like three days before SEMA, here we are, we got this grill, supposed to be milled out of 100% aluminum, one big giant brick, and they, they, it, they just didn't come through. So, we built a grill in a couple of days um, that's been in a bunch of the photo shoots. This is the first time that this grill's ever been seen uh, since we got it. We just installed it two days before this show. Um, but we had a, had a company, Spark Industries, help us out. Uh, we sent them a grill as soon as it came back from SEMA. We took off the grill that we built, sent it to them. They 3D scanned it. Uh, sent us back the grill so we could head to the Grand Nationals and started milling us a full one piece aluminum grill. So let's get into SEMA a little bit here because it's pretty exciting how this worked. You, you've you been there uh, in different capacities before, but this was your first time 
go into SEMA with a purpose-built vehicle to go show there, and you get to SEMA and just thinking you're going to go put it in the show, what happened? So, so I mean, with the we built this truck for SEMA. This is 100% our build, not another company's. 100% our build. And, you know, with timelines and this grill and a few other little things, we're running the day behind. So the owners show up to SEMA, they pull the truck out of the, out of the box, and uh, from what everything's been told by all, all of us and through the owner is, is, hey, you know what, we need to let these trucks load in. Can you take this truck and pull your truck over to the side and let us do this? Well, in the whole time of this is the, the big wigs at SEMA want this truck at the front door they're not telling us any of this you know the owners call me up and going hey can you call so and so at cnr because it's supposed to be in cnr racing's booth that built the radiators and coolers for us it's supposed to be in their booth but they won't let us in and i don't know what's going on and you know he calls me back i go just go up there and ask him what the deal is let's get in our booth and he, he goes well you guys are going up front you're not going in a booth you're going right at the front door and he calls me up and he's going trucks going at the front door i'm like the front door what are you talking about uh no we're not in the booth anymore we're at the front door and i go oh hey okay sweet <laughs> as, as i'm sitting at my desk going what just happened what's going on we're going where you know did you even know what that meant when they said going to the front door i mean you've been to sema but so i've been to sema okay you got a car here a car here okay there's a lot of cars and a lot of doors what you consider the front door at sema could be anything it could be an outside the front door you could walk in the front door okay so when i got the picture in the video of the truck pulling in um okay here is the big word sema here's the information booth here's the truck and you know, just the, uh, I mean, the uh, owner's wife, that the owner that owns the truck, my best friend's wife, um, she's crying because it's actually her birthday weekend. And you know, her truck that we built for her is at the front door. So it was just exciting for her. What, uh, what was the end result then? So they judge those and, and, and they give out different awards for different things. And how did the truck do then? So the truck took uh, Toyo tires pick. Um, there were two vehicles picked, one truck, one car. We took best of truck for that. Um, we got picked for Vier's top 10. And then I believe there was another, another one. I'd have to talk to the owner um, about, the, about a couple of other picks that were what, that were there, but you know, it, it's it's taken some of the top awards since since SEMA. So after that, your follow-up was then you went to the Grand National Road Show, and how how did that go? Okay, so the truck left, uh, the owners left SEMA, went straight to Good Guys in California, uh, Pleasanton, if I remember right. So the first beginning show of Good Guys, they were there where the truck took uh, best in his class, best in show and um, truck finalist of the year. So at the end of this summer, they will pick whether or not this goes up against whatever top other trucks that are there. Then they brought it back to us. We did a few little details real quick because we haven't seen it since SEMA for, since now. Uh, get, us, get it back to us, um, do a couple little details, get the grill tore out, tore out, sent out, get it back, get it ready for the Grand Nationals. Goes to the Grand Nationals a couple weeks ago takes best in his class. Truck comes back, here it is now, and now the truck will be headed out to Texas and it'll be in Texas and Arizona and Medford. And there's a big long list of where the truck will be seen. So, And they can pick that up off your website, right? Um, so I'll get, I'll get some information. We'll get it posted up on uh, Instagram as where the truck's gonna be throughout the week. So if they follow us on Instagram, or follow 40 shades of gray they will see where we're taking the truck next and where the truck's going to be displayed at um we'll try to get it up as soon as i have a hundred percent schedule of what the owners are doing uh we'll have a full schedule up of where the truck's going that's great well it's an exciting build and we're glad you know for, this is your first time i believe at the salem roadster show and here we get you with this truck so this is our first year at salem 
Um, it's usually been an invited show. Usually we're we're fighting too much to get stuff ready for the Portland Roadster show, um, but we're trying to change gears a little bit um, and get this truck shown out. So since this truck's already done and we're not doing very much with, you know, not bringing 12 rigs to Portland, we can get down here and bring the truck down for everybody that doesn't get up to the Portland Roadster show to come down and see them at Salem. Well, what a coincidence because uh, anybody that was at the show this weekend has already seen on day one uh, the biggest crowd this show has ever had. So call it coincidence, call it a really sweet ride that was advertised. Either way, it's a great deal. The, the, all the people here are li loving it, we're loving it, and so we're just happy that you brought it in. And thank you so much for the interview, Lonnie. No problem. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time. Stop, stop.